hello friends in this video we are going to learn how we can add the delivery date field in the checkout process so uh, let's check because see the dates are coming over here and if we go to this part there is a new block that is called the delivery date information with the delivery date and the comment okay so this how we can add this part in the Magento to the sales order with the checkout page it's very interesting to learn this module how we can customize the checkout page adding any fields to the Magento checkout page I will show you where I have added see delivery date and delivery comment so I'm going to add this delivery date and delivery comment this is a very big module that I have created okay so uh, so let's start begin with the step by step okay so let's start with the module <coughs> Magento 2 uh, one thing I will explain you uh, in the Magento 2.4.3 when you try to debug the admin or front end now you need to replace index.php it is in the pub so don't forget like if you are adding the index.php here it is moved so it is in the index.php here so you need to add the code for the debugging and enable the Magento developer mode so that you can see the logs okay so let's start the extension how we can build that extension okay so first of all we have to go my module delivery date so this is so think of that like uh, on first of all if we think like what is how we can add these two fields what is the first step adding the fields we require the HTML part and the full checkout page is based on the knockout okay so here we first of all we create the two fields so first of all we go to the setup and install schema we will create the date time and delivery comment okay in the sales order and sales order grid because both are responsible for the setting the code and retrieving the data from for the orders to so sales and order grid and sales order you need to add this date time and delivery comment okay so in the next step this is for creating the two fields that is delivery date and time so that we can add into the database at the time of placing the order okay after that we created now go to the view front end we need to create the delivery date and time HTML okay so let's go to the required chairs it is required over here so I am using mixing shipping mixing and uh, this is the ship uh, where we are adding uh, the, the delivery date and time so this is for that I am using the shipping shape processor default Magento checkout okay so I'm using this model JS model shipping C processor so go to the templates new front-end web JS mixin model and view mixin we have shipping mixin .js, js so here I'm setting the shipping information because delivery date and time is based on the uh, shipping if uh, you need to save that so I'm using this knockout here you will restrict and shipping information all this function use you, you're thinking that uh, why I'm using this you all this function you are getting from the core module of the uh, Magento so I'm using that set shipping information this dot validate delivery date so this is the function validate delivery function this one so it, this is source set params invalid false source trigger delivery date validate this source params invalid it return false else it will return true if I'm not sending any date and time so it will return false in that case okay that is invalid parameter after that we have the we have JS then we have model shipping save processor default.js so here we are you this is safe shipping information code billing address code shipping address and we are setting the extension attributes delivery date and delivery comment over there by getting the dollar date delivery date dot value 
full screen loader start loader after that we are when the function returns done then we are response dot payment method screen we flash back to the uh, new screen and if fail then we are stop loading over here then it will stick to that function okay so this is the after the save information button we click on the all, all details shipping information done then we are going to the place order screen so in that case first of all we save the shipping information with leave date and comment if it is not saved then it will not going to the next screen we have our full screen load start loader else we have stop fail stop loader okay there's a function okay so this is default.js that we have already mentioned in shipping js processor default and first it will run then after that view shipping it will use js this part and after that using shipping mix in this part okay next this is shipping processor js part done now we have the view delivery.js and this part so delivery.js is responsible for the creating the date filter so we are before show the date and date picker options after that we update the date picker so basically this is for the delivery date date shares and delivery date block dot shares i am using delivery date block okay so next we have model we have already suggest okay next we have the delivery date this view admin html we have to add the delivery date column to the sales order if you see we have need to add the sale delivery date over here so we know that uh, which layout we need to use sales order create excel index and so here i'm just adding the new block delivery date okay and delivery date is order create delivery date dot html so i'm using this part and sales order block create delivery date dot html okay shipping method reference block after the shipping method i'm calling this block okay now this is admin html after that we have templates order shipping info so i'm adding the sh all the shipping information delivery date information i already seen you that uh, whenever you try to view this and we have the information like shipping delivery information and all so this this function we are adding delivery date content delivery date and this and we are rendering delivery date content insert after this order view billing it will append all this section after this order view billing part okay so very easily delivery date content we are inserting the full part in that block okay so this is done after that we have order create delivery.html so we have already mentioned delivery.html so they are adding the full date time see we have mentioned shipping method this, this delivery date this order create delivery.html before this so i'm adding the full block delivery date parameter and comment Okay, so it will generate get the config disabled format date month and all for after formatting all this we are appending all the scripts to that so this is basically admin html part okay so next we have the ui component you know that we, uh, ui component basically creating the new field in the admin panel okay. so after that uh, we need to go to the this is this part is done delivery date now this is admin html for showing the fields which we have done front end for creating the html we have done view part we have done setup done plugin for uh, just uh, if, uh, plugin is for basically before saving the code we are setting the data over here so here we are this part layout processor here we are showing the delivery date and delivery comment so it will set after the process it will add two fields that is called the uh, delivery date and delivery comment and we have model shipping so basically it set the delivery date and delivery time the before save address information we are saving the both delivery date extension attributes okay get the extension attributes and uh, 
We have already made the extension attributes to get the extension attribute. Like I will show you where I have need. We have etc extension attributes. You can also use the extension attributes delivery date and delivery comment. So check out API data. So here I am getting the shipping information. Get extension attributes, delivery date, delivery comment, and we are setting the both the comment over here. Okay, and uh, this is done for adding the setting the and what we have updating the checkout process so here we have the layout processor which we already discussed now we have shipping information management we have already discussed so we are using the plugin name save delivery date in quote and another one is this delivery block add delivery block layout process okay so yeah, this is that's it and uh, let me check you the block I haven't written HTML. this is the admin HTML block just for returning the get required delivery day and config that is uh, not also important if you want to add you can add so model we have already delivery data configurator This, this you can use for delivery date config provider and validator you know for the validation whether the date is correct or not if it is not correct then it will return false else it will return true okay so this is the date and time config this is a configuration file where we have to set format hours minimum maximum required delivery date or not so this is a configuration file okay so here we are getting the get disabled or if you don't want to use xml path disabled you can create a uh, settings in the admin panel and you can get the value from that there hours minimum maximum and require date and time i have already created the config dot xml so if you see config dot uh, config dot xml you can create and uh, like this format disabled hours minimum required date and delivery so this is the thing that I am getting over here okay and uh, getting the format get disabled or not get hours mean get hours maximum required degree date and time get config so I'm returning the full config like this shipping delivery date format disabled nowadays hours means so it will create all the data in the calendar okay so in the admin banner if we go to the stores configuration and uh, sure no. no we can create it but I haven't created it okay and uh, ba.xml basically used for the overriding so I am overriding the methods shipping shipping information check out model if you need to check check out you can go to the let me go to the uh, new tab and uh, go to the vendor vendor here we are going to do magento and go to the module checkout module hyphen checkout Checkout. So it is a model checkout. If you go to the plugin model code, set code address. This is the different code address. We have the shipping information management. Shipping information management. Let's see. So this is the shipping information management this is guest and this is see magento checkout model guest shipping information or this they would be a shipping information let me check 
this is the model magento model shipping information management this is test this is test magento check out keep it information check out this is the see preference you can use this part this is a case study let me check it should be there shipping interference shipping management save address cart id shipping information management is there you see So they are using the preferences for Magento checkout model shipping information management. Okay. So here is shipping management interface we are using to just set all the data. They are using Magento checkout API data shipping information interface. They are using shipping information interface and the classes, whatever class you can meet. And here, if you are using the interface shipping information interface, we have already checked that it is there. So in that, there is a method called before save address information, and we are just using that one, okay, and to set the data in the code, okay. So this is how we can develop the delivery date and time and order comment extension in Magento. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great.